Hey guys, today we're going to go over basically a f cool feature of the Chevy Volt. I think most of the Chevy um, um, MyLink systems. Basically, go to Home button, go to Settings. It's actually called Passive Locking of the Vehicle, which is pretty neat because what you could do, it's based on your key code or your your rem the key fob that you guys carry. So if you walk away from the car, it will automatically passively lock your car which is awesome so you go to settings you know home button settings and then go to vehicle and then under power locks come on there's a lot of other stuff in settings but we're going to go to power door locks was it nope actually the power door locks actually have other things like unlock the door anti-lockout or auto door lock or delayed door lock. These things delay things for five seconds and they wait until your final door closes before it actually locks out. So, which is pretty neat, but I usually have these things off because I don't I want things to lock as I need it to lock. But uh, auto door unlock, which is neat. You, it's, I think it's for the button pressing of, the, of that door handle. But to be honest, I really don't use this stuff or unlock car, un, because it seems to, I'll probably play with this later. But the main thing was that if you go to remote lock and unlock start, you can actually change the stuff to your remote unlock light feedback, the remote lock feedback, remote door unlock, window operation. If you want all your windows to open up, um, you guys should have that turned on by pressing your remote button to do it, just in case it's a hot day. But the funny one, or the most useful I think, is that's through passive, well, the passive door lock. The passive door unlock, I have it on, where I walk to my door and it go, goes ahead and unlocks it for me, but uh, I don't think that's as useful as a, you know, passive door lock. So basically I have it off, you can have it on with a chirp, so when you walk away from the car after like a few seconds, five seconds of not feeling the, sensing the remote control in your pocket, it will chirp and then it will lock all your doors. I find that very, very useful, but usually since I, you know, come home, you're late or or, or really early, I really don't wake up the neighbors. So I just turn it to on. So what will that do is once you walk away from the car, it basically just boop, locks your entire car. And that would be awesome. I wanna see if there actually has the lighting for it too. So remote unlock light feedback, flashlights, which is good. And that's about it guys. That's how you set up the passive door locks for your um, Chevy Volt. Pretty fun stuff. I'm glad they put this stuff on. I still don't understand exa exactly what exactly this anti-door lock out or the auto door lock or, well, these are all kind of delayed features, but I don't think I'm going to actually use that stuff. But definitely that passive door lock is what I loved about my previous cars, which I had alarms on, because five seconds after all the door closes, it arms itself, which is great. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this helps out. Remember, settings, go into settings, home button, settings, and then go to, let's go through it again real fast. So settings, home button, then settings, then go to vehicle, and to remote power lock and lock start. And then that's where you guys see, um, do, 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 and then scroll down to passive anything, passive door lock or passive door lock or unlock. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Like, subscribe and stuff. Bye.